My name is Sharon. Some of you may recognize me from the choir at St. John's. I have a verse of scripture I sometimes say is in my bones. It's Romans 8 28. And we know that all things work together for good to those who love God, to those who are called according to his purpose. I say it's in my bones because this verse holds a promise that needs time to prove itself true. Not moment to moment, but over months or years. I'm so grateful that I was assigned this verse to memorize when I was young, to give me that time. Usually I see the truth of the promise by looking back, but sometimes I'm blessed by seeing it at work as I'm going through difficult times. I've had that experience recently after losing a job I thought I'd have until retirement when Redeemer University closed its theater arts department last April. Moving on is not what I wanted or expected, and it's added another layer of uncertainty to these already unsettling times. Yet I've been comforted repeatedly by the way I see how God is making this situation work together for the good of all of us, both me and my family. I felt blessed by the ways he was working long before I lost my job, helping me imagine a life as something other than a theater professor. I was able to take much needed time off last summer to just hang out with my daughter Miranda, instead of struggling to prepare for another stressful term of online teaching. I'm still being surprised by the ways he is taking care of us financially. I've been moved by words of encouragement from parishioners at St. John's, former students, colleagues, friends and others, who are helping me see new ways to use my training and gifts and providing me with opportunities to do something different. And I'm learning how to be open to listen to God and the space I now have to just be. I'm both excited and a little nervous about what will come next, but I'm also grateful because I feel in my bones that it will all work together for good.